Annegret studied the impact of climate change on reptile populations in Australia by observing and counting them and by evaluating their behavior and conditions. We should definitely uh, leave the local uh, vegetation uh, in the national parks, definitely, but also um, through the farms as uh, like stepping stones to make it possible for the species to move between habitats, because that's what many, many desert species do. They follow the rainfall. The thing is, certain habitats can be dry for years before the next rainfall, so the reptiles need to be able to migrate in between habitats. If we would remove vegetation and they couldn't move on the bare ground because it's too hot, it would cause local extinctions. Now that she's back in Germany, she's studying local amphibians and using a somewhat unconventional method. <laughs> yes, I have something new. Um, what I'm using is a specific detection dog. So I'm searching the area with the dog. The dog is trained on the newt species and it would alert whenever he finds a newt species or a newt refuge. That way she's able to map the refuges, maybe even find the individuals and measure the microhabitat conditions. And it's quite obvious how much the two of them enjoy this fieldwork. But then there's also this other side of science. I like correlating things with each other, trying to figure out why something is as it is. And then to see results and to see reasons and to get the puzzle together and understand why something happened, this is just a, it's just a great experience in the end.